FCI Ophthalmics demonstrated its brand new cataract training system at ASCRS. The Kataro system contains all items necessary for both dry and wet lab practice. In the dry lab, a surgeon can repeatedly practice CCC and nucleus dividing at their desk to master the basic instrumentation before moving on to the wet lab practice. The Kataro items that are used in the dry lab are as follows. This is the anterior capsule film. This polyester film has a special two-layer structure and is placed over the reusable polymer clay cortex to reproduce the capsular axis in a way very similar to the human eye. Also in the kit are segmented plastic nuclei along with polymer clay nuclei. These are used to practice basic instrumentation and nuclear segmentation techniques like divide and conquer, stop and chop, and phaco chop. After practicing with the segmented plastic nuclei, these same techniques are practiced on the polymer clay. The pre-cut sclerocorneal sheets attach to the cornea for practicing limbal incisions. The Kataro face mask has two eyes, one a deep set eye and the other the normal depth. When you lift up the face, you can actually see how the Kataro works. The scleral shell attaches to the corneal shell and the special design of the base allows for ocular mobility. This ocular mobility is what gives the Kataro system such a high degree of likeness to the human eye for the surgeon. Now the surgeon will prepare for the wet lab FACO procedure. The realistic single-use cataracts come in three different cataract densities, soft, medium, and hard. They are contained within an artificial anterior and posterior capsule film. The cataracts are packaged in a resealable foil pack, which is refrigerated upon receipt. They will last in the refrigerator for about six to eight months. The cataracts are placed in the reusable scleral shell and a wet lab cornea is mounted on top. The cornea has red markings for the main and side port incisions and can be used several times before replacement. Wound incisions. Make your initial incision with any size keratome. Now make your paracentesis incisions. This will allow access for your second hand instrument. Kataro offers several variations of manipulators and choppers. Viscoelastic. Fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. Now that the eye is prepared, capsulorexis. The surgeon will now make the capsulorexis. You will have a choice of making the initial flap with a provided cystotome, or in this particular case, you may choose to use the Kataro Capsulorexis forcep to make the initial flap and then continue on with the remainder of the all-important surgical technique. The Kataro anterior capsule film provides a realistic feel of the human capsular bag. Hydrodissection. After a successful capsulorexis, you will then need to perform hydrodissection with the provided hydro needle. To verify a successful hydrodissection, rotate the nucleus before moving on to phacoemulsification. Phacoemulsification, anterior cortex removal. Once in the eye with the phaco handpiece, the surgeon makes a few passes with the phaco tip to remove or initiate the debulking of the anterior cortex. Once the anterior cortex is removed, you can begin to make your grooves with a Kataro manipulator chopper to begin to divide or chop the nucleus. The Kataro offers artificial cataracts in three different densities, soft, medium, and hard. This will allow you to practice different techniques ranging from the divide and conquer, phaco chop, and stop and chop techniques. Once the nucleus is completely removed, you can move on to the removal of the epinucleus. With the Kataro system, you can use an IA handpiece only when practicing with a soft nucleus. When using a medium or hard nucleus, continue to use your phaco handpiece. Note how the epinucleus peels off from the posterior capsule, another realistic feel for the surgeon with a Kataro system. Once the epinucleus has been completely removed, you are ready for IOL implantation. Hi, I'm David Goldman, Refractive Editor for OphthalmologyWeb.com. 
We're here at the ASCRS convention in Chicago, and I'm speaking uh, with Dr. Akra from FCI uh, Ophthalmics. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Agra, this is an excellent uh, device that is desperately needed for teaching uh, cataract surgery. Uh, who do you think would benefit most from the Kataro system? Oh, not only young surgeon, but also experienced doctor can benefit from Kitaro because using Kitaro, complicated cataract surgery can be run and also very difficult case and time consuming surgery like IOL transcranial fixation can be practiced using Kitaro. And also, if one doctor wants to develop their own technique, and also one doctor wants to introduce new technique, Kitaro is very useful. Are these parts reusable? Oh, almost all part of Kitaro is reusable. But only this atrial lens is disposable. And also, this corneal eyes part is reusable, but uh, for experienced doctor like me, more than 100 times can be used again and again. But for beginners, if some instrumentation is very bad, after 10 times or 20 times used, then this wound become enlarged. Then this part must be changed. What surgical complications can be simulated with the kit? Oh, it's a good question. Uh, first, I developed Kitaro dry rub for practicing cataract surgery at the desk without using microscope and fake machine. And then I developed Kitaro wet rub for practicing fake surgery using fake machine and microscope. Then recently I developed Kitaro multi-rubber. Using multi-rubber, small pupil management and capsule, postural capsule tear management and zonal uh, rupture management. And, uh, IOL suture fixation and uh, manual ishi can be practiced. How does the Kataro kit compare to traditional practice models such as pig eyes? I use traditional artificial eye, uh, many, many kinds of artificial eye, but I used all of them. But after that, I noticed and I believe Kitaro is the best one among the or actual eye. And to compare with posting eye regarding the making incision and suturing, pig eye has advantage over Kitaro. But regarding capsule making and uh, nuclear splitting technique, Kitaro has much advantage over posting eye because posting eye has very elastic anterior capsule, and there is no nucleus, but Kitaro has very good anterior capsule and the nucleus, very similar to human eye. Capsule axis making and nuclear dividing techniques very important part in fake surgery. So Kitaro has much advantage over posting eye. I believe so. Will you be developing new wet labs for different? Procedures such as DSEC, glaucoma, or a weak zonule? Oh, just now I developed the uh, artificial eye for practicing glaucoma surgery. In glaucoma surgery, trabeculectomy, trabeculotomy, and bisconectomy can be practiced because this artificial eye for tra practicing glaucoma has an artificial sulem canal. And also, I developed the uh, artificial eye for practicing transcorneal plantation, including DSEC. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. I think it's an excellent product that's very necessary to help train cataract surgeons. Thank you. Thank you very much for good asking for me. For more information, please visit FCI Ophthalmics. Hello, my name is Bob Osher and I've spent a career teaching cataract surgery. I first met Dr. Akura in Europe at the film festival in which he won the grand prize. Not only one year, but two years. I then asked his permission to learn more about this exciting technology. 
and I realized he has a wonderful method of teaching cataract surgery, much better than what I've done for my whole career. So we published his method on our video journal of cataract and refractive surgery, and now, here in Chicago at the ASCRS, he's sharing this great technology, this great innovation with me and so many of my colleagues. I want to personally congratulate Dr. Akura for making the teaching of cataract surgery so much better.